What is up guys? What's up YouTube? It is about 4.32 p.m. Today, as you can see, I'm in jsbin.com. Um, I am going to make a simple um, addition to the, well, we'll do the string and the array prototypes in JavaScript. And since I'm really interested in learning languages, I'm going to do, we're going to modify, we're going to create a method on the prototype for both the string and the array that for the string is just going to translate hello to hola and goodbye to adios and we're going to have an array of one two three and we're just going to translate that to uno dos trace so let's get to it guys and uh, i think this is kind of cool you might learn something so pay attention all right so the first thing i'm going to do we're going to start with our um we're going to start with our, uh, our uh, JavaScript, and we're just going to write out a uh, greeting, and that's just going to be hello. Now we're going to create this function on the string prototype, and this is just going to be, uh, we're just going to call it translate, translate words, or we're just going to translate. It's going to be a function, and basically all it's going to do we're going to look at this greeting. We're going to say if if hello. Well, first let's add in our try and catch. So we're going to say if hello return hola. Else if goodbye return adios. So we can get in the accent. Adios. And then we'll just catch if there's an error. We'll just log out. Sorry. Um, this word does not have translations yet. So, and we'll just log out that error that we're getting. Um, let's see, semicolon. There we go. Let's try this out. So we have our greeting, right? And so we just log out for greeting. We should just get hello, right? That makes sense. But if we log out greeting dot translate, we're gonna get hola. Okay, that makes sense. So what if we put in goodbye? What should we get here? If hello, greeting dot translate. Let's see. Hello greeting console dot log. Greeting dot translate. Why is it always going to be hola? If hello, return hola. Function. Function string yeah. string is equal to um, hello. Huh. Not really sure why that's the case. Let me try for hello equals hello console dot log hello dot translate goodbye goodbye equals goodbye console dot log goodbye dot translate hmm um Hello, console dot log. Hello, this if console dot log. Goodbye. Oh huh. well, not really sure. I would say that I was thinking. Two, 
This dot value, okay, got it. So let me see, value of function value of this dot two string, okay, got it. This dot two string, hello, all right. So let's modify our code again. If this dot to string is equal to hello, else if this dot to string is equal to basic semicolon. Now let's try it out, guys. That's how quickly you can Google something if you're really not sure, which I wasn't. I just tried this literally like 20 minutes ago, maybe 15. Um, so let's try reading dot translate okay we're getting hello and undefined well yeah because we're not return hola okay so now we're getting hola else if no we're just going to return adios so let's try out let's change this to nothing undefined and then Property translate or undefine. Catch error. We'll just make it an array. Even though translate is not a function. Not sure how you'd get that error to be honest um, in this case. But let's just try it out with the goodbye. And we should get adios. So that's the string prototype function. Let's try it with the array. So we have a numbers array. And we're just going to store it in there. One, two, and three. And um, we want to access the array prototype built into JavaScript. Prototype uh, um, dot translate is going to be a function. And basically, we're just going to go through zero is less than this dot length r plus plus. And um, Basically, we can just do, this is kind of taking equal to one. So i is equal to uno. I'll say this of i equal to, this is the long way about it, but whatever. This of i equal to dos. I'll say this of i is equal to three, this of i equal to tres, and this of i Okay. So, this is, uh, let's take care of that. So let's just console dot log numbers dot translate, and we're getting undefined. Why? Because we're not turning this red. So that is return this. There we go. So that's basically it guys. You could always just return that array from the beginning. You could just return a new array that, that stores uh, the indices uno, dos, tres, but um, numbers.translate does that exact same thing. Um, and again, we could always throw in a try and catch. So we could throw in, could throw in that, 
draw and catch there. Console.log there. And uh, that would do it for us as well. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to make sort of a more uh, fun video, kind of creative. Um, I think it's pretty interesting how this works, how you can add on methods to the prototype in JavaScript, really flexible language. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, just wanted to uh, emphasize again how easy it is to sort of look up these methods with uh, Stack Overflow and uh, just becoming resourceful yourself. So if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and have a great day.